Hello, welcome back to Chop, 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 Hound Dog Music. This is going to be really good. Today we're talking about Bolero, Ravel's Bolero, which was written in 1929, has a signature snare drum part. Here's the part. It goes one and a la two and a la three and one and a la two and a la three and a la and a la. It's a 15 minute piece. It has a crescendo all the way through the entire 15 minutes. The double P here, if you're learning to read music, um, signifies very, very soft. The triple F signifies very, very, very loud. So for 15 minutes, this snare part, one and a la two and a la three and one and a la two and a la three and a la, and a la builds and grows, never changes, never breaks. It's very difficult. It's also very cool. It's uh, touted to be one of the most sensuous pieces of music ever, um, if that matters to anybody. Anyway, and we're talking about how to relate Ravel's Bolero snare part to modern music. Um, in this case, we're going to use Achilles' Last Stand by Led Zeppelin to show you some Bolero applications. In Achilles' Last Stand, um, it's in 5 4 and 4 4 time instead of 3 4 time. And this rhythm, 1 and a la 2 and a la 3 and, is actually inverted. So instead of single note, three notes, one and a la, it's reversed. It's one a la and. The three notes come first. So it's just kind of backwards as if you're looking at it in a mirror. So it's in Achilles' last stand, one a la and, two a la and, three a la and, four and, or sometimes one la and, two la and, three la and, four la and, five and. We're going to play through Achilles' last stand. I want to give you beginners um, something to chop to and just play along. I'm shooting from the hip, so I'll call the shots. You follow me. We're going to talk about taps, accents. I'm going to introduce a new sticking grouping called the paradiddle for for um, beginners. For in intermediate people, we'll be doing some stuff at double time, so you can like have some fun too. But that's what we're all about right now. So let's get into Achilles' last stand. Chop, 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 hound dog music. Relating Bolero to modern rock and roll music. Here we go. All right. We're going to start out with just accents and taps. For you beginners, an accent is a big, huge note. Lift up as high as you can lift and then drop to the pad. Here's my pad here. That's all you do. There's Achilles' last stand. We're going to count it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're going to play accent tap, accent tap, accent tap, accent tap, accent tap. Just follow along. Big, little, 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 big, little. The best way to get good at this is to repeat a lot of times. So a good way to repeat is to play a little of the song. Good. So if you're a beginner, you're learning this for the first time, make sure you squeeze from your thumb into these two fingers. Keep your back fingers on the stick. Make sure your wrist is strong. We don't want weak wrists. We want strong. Okay? Let's reverse this. Let's go little, big, little, big. <coughs> little, big. Tap, accent, tap, accent, tap, accent, tap, accent. Good. Let's put all three of those sections together like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Now reverse. And a little. Yeah, try it again. 
One, two, ready, go. Exit tap, exit tap, exit tap, exit tap. Tap, exit. Tap, 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 tap. Exit, 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 exit. And back to the beginning. Good. We're going to add our new sticky now. It's a paradiddle sticky. It's going to go like this. Right, right, right. Whoa, there's the bolero. We talked about that in the beginning. Wow, that's how Ravel's bolero relates to Led Zeppelin. Anyway, back to paradiddles. Sticking is. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Let's do a bunch of those. All accents. Accent on the beginning. Whoop, bolero. One la hand, two la hand, three la hand, four la hand, five hand. Cool. Back to paradiddles, nice and slow. Then we'll go double time for some of you more experienced cats. Now double time. Straight doubles. Eight of each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Boom. The best thing about this is that you get to work your chops out and play along with the cool tune. Let's go back to the beginning. Let's review for the beginners. We did accent tap, accent tap. Then we did tap, accent, tap, accent. Then we did four of each. Then we did paradiddle. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Now accent tap. Tap, accent, tap, accent. Now four of each. Now paradiddle. Now double time. Whoop, bolero. Awesome. Double time paradiddles. Eight paradiddles and eight straight double stroke beats. Ready? Here we go. One. Paradiddles. Five, six. Four of each. One, two, three, four. One, two.
I have a feeling here comes a Bolero. This time when the Bolero comes around, let's try to catch it. It's going to be one la and two la and three la and four la. Here it comes. Isn't that cool, man? Ravel wrote Bolero in 1929 using a permutation of that rhythm, and it's still used today in modern rock and roll music. Let's go back to paradiddles and double strokes, four of each. Ready? Go. Eight of each. One. Five, six, seven, eight. Four of each. One, two, three, four. One, two. Two. One, two. One, two. Cool. Let's just review for beginners. One, two, three, four. One. Accent tap, accent tap. Accent, reverse it. Tap, accent tap, accent tap, accent tap, accent. All right, thank you. Hopefully that was helpful. There'll be more. We'll go live um, when my technology catches up with my brain. So right now, chop, 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 hound dog music, my course. Thank you for tuning in. Hopefully this has been helpful. Give me some feedback because I want this to be really good. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.